Yeah, no, it was definitely uh, the goal was just for put on YouTube. It was um, it was kind of for fun, but it was also I also just kind of made it just um, so actors could just kind of after a shit day of rejection just come and watch something that was fun and was light, easy to easy to watch. Yeah, because acting's hard. <laughs> It's a bitch of an industry sometimes, so I didn't really have any expectations for it. So we just kind of we wrote it really quickly and we just made it really quickly. So yeah. Um, I approached Reverie TV, which is like a an LGBT um, platform in America, and I submitted the series, and they loved it and they accepted it. Um, so yeah, so we're on that at the moment, and we're also we're doing a lot of festival festivals at the moment which is really good too for exposure so yeah you know what it, it, I've self-funded a lot of my own short films and that's always really hard because it's always like it's pretty expensive but with this um, I was a I had a partner Nicholas who we went uh, halves together and we found a really cheap DOP who edited it and, was re and just gave us a really good price so it wasn't actually a struggle to finance it which was which was good yeah That's such a good question. <laughs> um, so with four actors, we decided just to put it, pull, put all the six episodes out at once because we'd never really done a web series before and we just did that. And I didn't feel like it worked. So I've made another web series called Real Tinder Combos and we released it like once a week for like 10 weeks and I felt like our audience kind of grew and, we, and, and more people were watching it. So I know, yeah, so for me, like I feel like releasing it once a week is better than just doing it in a lump sum. I don't know other creators say it the opposite way around, but um, yeah, that's what I found, so yeah.